you see things clearly and cross. But if you're very confident, there are a lot of people on the street who are very confident. <laughs> they simply cross. They're surviving because of… by sheer chance or because of the compassion of the drivers. <laughs> so what we need in the world is not confidence, we need clarity. This is one thing that our education systems have completely failed to address, how to enhance human perception. Because only what you perceive you know, rest is just imagination, isn't it? So I'm confident about something means, I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to do it and it may work. If on a busy highway, if you just… whatever your favorite slogan is, Jai Sri Ram or Hail Mary or Allahu Akbar, you shout and run across the highway, you may make it <laughs> God save us. Because just by sheer chance you may make it or as, as I said, the, the drivers may be little compassionate. But if you try every day, we know where to pick you up. <laughs> so what we need is not confidence, we need clarity in the world. Enhancing your perception is what is needed. No, no, if no. you are able to perceive something that other people could not see, that is what makes you an entrepreneur, that is what makes you a leader, that is what makes… gives you the necessary edge in the world. So perception, enhancing perception clarity. is the whole dimension of yoga. When I utter the word yoga, because today most of the yoga that people have known in this country also unfortunately is a rebound from the American coast. Yes, very unfortunate. Lot of people are beginning to think yoga was invented by Madonna <laughs> This is the science of perception. With these two eyes, you can only perceive the physicality of what is here. The physicality of who you are is just a piece of the planet, isn't it? We are not going to know you by… every day as doctors in your hospital must be reading somebody's heart, but you don't know what's beating in their heart. You know whether they're going to live or die, <laughs> but you don't know who they are, isn't it? What they are as a human being. The complexity of their humanity is not there in their liver or kidney or heart or anything. Only their physical structure is there. This is just a piece of the planet that you've gathered. So who you are is much more than that. That perception is beyond physicality. So developing your perception to a dimension beyond physical is what is needed. That is when you will produce human beings who look like gods. They are not gods, they are full-fledged human beings because others have not strived to do that to themselves. When they look at somebody who has flowered to a certain level of competence and capability, they think either they are gods or gods are favoring them. It is not the truth of success in life. Somebody is successful because he's perceived something that others missed. Absolutely correct. It's so wonderful, uh, Sadhguruji. You know, I know everybody in the audit beautiful auditorium here. Yes, I can. And the thousands of people who are watching live on the internet, they all want to know, is there is a prescription for good health, <laughs> spirituality, <laughs> no commentation? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> because I have seen, you know, some of the impossible things that you have done for other people when, when they were not well. But more importantly, when your health took bad, uh, no doctor or no medical dictionary or direct, directly could ever detect it. I read in the book, as they beautifully wrote in a biography, she said you are a mystic, you know, to have, have an undiagnosed illness for… and then got it cured. So is there something else to stay well? The thing is, uh, we created this body from inside. So the manufacturer of this body is inside. So if you have a repair job to be done, it's would insane. you like to go to the manufacturer or to the local mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> if you had access, you would like to go to the manufacturer. If you lost access, you will go to the local tinker to do this and that. I am not trying to belittle medical science by saying this. If there was no medical science as it is, I would say even half the people would be dead by now, here in this audience. Yes, 
because uh, the average life expectancy of an Indian in 1947 was 28 years. Today it has risen to 64. One important factor is medical science the way it is. Excellent. So I am not trying to belittle or make fun of medical sciences. It is very significant what has been achieved in the last 30 to 40 years is phenomenal. No. The question is just this. If you had access to the source of that which creates this body, definitely every problem that you generate within the body could be handled. Now there are two kinds of ailments, infectious and chronic. Infectious ailments happen to us because of an external invasion from an organism. You must go to the doctor, don't try to meditate on it <laughs> But seventy percent of the ailments on the planet are self-created. I am saying self-created because it happened from within you. So what is happening from within you can be very easily fr fixed from within you. What comes to you from outside, you need outside help for that. So you have to fight an organism, then you need medicine. The rest of the ailments, almost seventy percent are self-created. Why would your body work against you. This body is essentially programmed for health. Every cell in this body is programmed for health. Why would it turn against you? Because somewhere you're not keeping it happy, Absolutely. to put it in a very simple language. Why would your own family turn against you? Somewhere they're not happy with you, isn't it? <laughs> yes or no? They're not happy with you with something that you're doing. So similarly, some cells in the body, some parts of your body are not happy with you for some reason. You must pay a little more attention. There is a way, a systematic way of paying attention to this one because everything in this body was created from within. When it is so, can't it fix from within? So this is not a miracle. I want people to understand this is not a miracle. What is a miracle is, Suppose you did not know what is electricity. I came here and uh, I just pressed that part of the wall and lights come on. Who do you think I am? God. Suppose, you know, a thousand years ago if I had a cell phone, I could just pull out the cell phone and talk to somebody in America, you would think I'm God, isn't it? So what is a miracle is, that which you do not understand, that which is not fitting into your… Un your logical perception seems miraculous to you. As your logic evolves, so many things which were miracles hundred years ago are normal things in our day-to-day -day life today, isn't it? Isn't it so? Yeah. So it is not a miracle, it's just a deeper understanding of your… your… of your own… the way you're constructed. So this is something that we need to pay attention to. Rural India, where nearly three quarters of the country's population resides, has become a living tale of hopeless economic and social